we're going to show you another example of a young player, a student of ours, who progressed. We're going to show you a pre-tape and a post-tape. We're going to show you the backhand volley, underspin backhand. You're going to see where the young player doesn't let the racket go out to the target. There's no hitting zone. The elbow is going to be down, the racket face is open, the arm is bent, the angle of the racket face goes down, the swing basically goes east and west instead of that racket path going forward, north and south. You'll see the same thing on the underspin backhand. But you'll see where he turns, he hits his backhand, and it's hand-to-hand -hand forms a line in this position. So let's take a minute and look at this tape. December 28, 1993. You'll see this is the first film, and then the second film two years later. Let's watch his underspin backhand that most people call slice, and he's slicing it east and west, swinging in the direction of the baseline. But he had to change his grip. He had to change the position of his left arm, right arm. Uh, you'll see him from a side view. Now, the angle of the racket face is changed. It's flat, so you can go fast and forward. Remember, when the ball is below the level of the net, the racket face opens up less than 10 degrees. You'll see him hit an underspin backhand. Even though he's a two-handed player, we work on the underspin backhand every day. You'll see hand-to-hand -hand forms a line. You'll see the checkpoints. The left arm stays back. The racket's like an archway. A slow motion on the backhand volley, side view, first tape. You can see that his left elbow is collapsed. The right arm is bent. The knuckles are facing the sky, the knuckles of his right hand. The angle the racket faces up, so the angle the racket path is going to go down. Look at the finish. The body weight is back. His head is clearly back. It's not in front of his anchor foot, his stepping foot. The angle of the racket head is dropped below his wrist. So when we say freeze, hold, self-evaluate, you don't want to end up in this position. Now the post, backhand volley, side view. Look at the difference. Now the right arm is relatively straight. The knuckles of the right hand are facing the incoming ball, outgoing target. The left elbow is raised. Now watch where he finishes. The racket finishes up above the wrist, separates his arms. He synchronizes step and swing. Okay, the one-handed underspin backhand, 45-degree angle. But look at where he is, just like the backhand volley. Knuckles to the sky, right arm bent, left elbow down. And again, the racket face. You could set a glass of water on it. Angle the racket face is up, angle the racket path goes down. He literally slices the ball. Swings east and west. Keep in mind he's a two-handed player, but two-handed players have to hit one-handed, especially in emergency situations. Now look at the finish. The swing went east and west. The path of the racket did not go to the path of the target. It's illogical. He's swinging the opposite direction. Now let's look at the adjusted one-handed backhand. Now, from a 45-degree angle, the one-handed underspin backhand, but look at the change. Certainly, we could be critical. He still needs to turn more. As if he were to turn more, the right arm would be against his upper body. But it's better. And remember, improvement takes place in stages. And he does end up turning a little bit more. Way out away from his body. Now the racket path goes out to the target. Hand-to-hand -hand forms a line, both for underspin and topspin. You see how he has that archway. The follow-through is the end product of the swing. Another example of progression, change, development. When it comes down to time, you have to put time in. You don't just 
wave a magic wand and someone just quickly changes their strokes. But the young player got in line and repeated, repeated, hitting the backhand volley this way. The underspin backhand, hand-to-hand -hand forms a line. And by working on technique, technique turns into tactics. If you improve your technical skills, then you have options. So now I have the option to play an approach shot, come in, and play the volley. But it all comes down to you have to be able to hit the ball and hit the ball better.